Welcome to Black Creek Homestead. Four years ago, we made a huge life change. We quit our jobs and moved up north to build a house and homestead from scratch on vacant land we purchased. We together built our dream home and are still creating our dream homestead. Come and follow along our journey. We have so much planned and can't wait to share it all with you. Nobody's inside. Oh goodness. You better get down from there. You're not supposed to be up there. Okay. Good night guys. You too. What are you doing up there? Yeah. And this one. Hey, pick one. I know, you're not supposed to be in here. So see how clean it keeps. Oh, except for that, someone broke an egg. But the, for the most part, locking them out at night keeps all the boxes very clean. Can get tedious because you have to come out every single night and lock them in so that you know the predators aren't going to get at them. Now, it's just kind of been a routine for us, and one of us just always walks out and locks them in. But we had someone reach out to us and ask us to try a chicken door um, open and closer. So we're going to give that a go. Cody and I have talked about getting one in the past. We have really been interested in trying one out because it will save us a step of having to come out and lock the chickens in at night to make sure that no predators come and get them. So that will be a huge bonus for us. Um, and then in the future, we have talked about the laying boxes, being able to lock them out of that. We want to have that on solar also and on a timer so that that automatically will close also so we don't have to come out and do that. Now, for the most part, the laying hens are pretty good at not going into the boxes at night. They go up on the perches, but we have had recently one that really likes to go into the boxes at night, which means she's probably being broody. She's usually laying on eggs, so it's just an instinct of a chicken. We're pretty excited to try this out, so I will show you once I get it and how it works. Our chicken door opener finally came in. So this is Chick Cozy. It's an automatic chicken door opener, and they sent it to us to review and give it a try. So let's get into it. To read the manual and figure out how to set the timer on here and take advantage of being able to put the batteries in and have that work the door as opposed to using the charging cable it is awesome that they do have both options but just for our sake where we move our chicken coop around in the summer we don't always have it close to power this is a great option for us batteries go in the side here so we'll just get that on the go because we know that we are going to use our batteries I'll show you here. I have mine opening at 8 a.m. in the morning, closing at 20, which is 8 p.m. We had to modify our opening just because it was too big. All we did was just cut a piece of plywood, cut the correct hole in the plywood for the chick cozy door to be installed to.
This way we could just screw the chick cozy door to the plywood and inline it with the hole we had created. Cody got the chicken door installed after work today and it worked. I ended up setting it so it opens at 8 o'clock and then it closes at 7.30. This will work for now and then I can always adjust it down the road. I'll show you in the morning the settings. I just do not want to be pooped on by the chickens. <laughs> all right. Good night, girls. You guys are all locked in till 8 a.m. Let's go out and see if the door opened. I kind of forgot about it, lost track of time, and it's past 8 o'clock. But let's go see how it opened and if the chickens are coming outside. Time right now is 8.04. It opens at 8 a.m. Closes at 19.30. You can change the settings to light time so it'll open at light and close at dark. Or you can actually set the time yourself, which is what I decided to do. For me, that was just the easiest option. And then I can adjust it as the time changes and it gets darker earlier. The girls are usually pretty good to go inside for the most part. We put ours on the inside of our coop mainly because we had already built the coop and it couldn't be attached to the outside. Our opening was way too big and we really didn't want to adjust our chicken coop that much. But on the inside we just had to put the plywood on, cut a hole for them to come in and out of and it works really well. They have no problem going in and out of it and they don't seem to be bothered by it at all. You playing peekaboo? If you're interested in getting one of the Chick Cozy door openers, I will provide a link in my description for you to be able to purchase this door. It is definitely a game changer for us and allows us, if we want to go camping and not worry if our chickens are gonna be locked in at night, it's one thing to have the layer box door closed. That's not as big of a deal. They're still in their coop and they're protected at least when the door opener closes and opens on its designated time. And I at least know that they're protected. I'm not as worried about a little poop in the laying boxes. If you are interested, I do have the link below in my description and Chick Cozy is giving you a 5% off if you order through that link, which is a pretty good deal for knowing that your chicks are gonna be safe and it will last a really long time. Good morning. I'm still half asleep. It's 6.30, Cody and I are getting up early today to go pick up a small brown baler in Manitoulin Island. So we've got a long drive ahead of us. We're just gonna get everyone fed and get some coffee on the go, and then we're gonna head out.
just arrived at our destination for the baler. Cody's just taking a look at it and then we will get it loaded as long as he likes it and head back home. Buddy, let's get her loaded up. Yeah. She never owned a round bale. Where'd you put that money there, dude? We made it home. Cody is working right now on getting it off the trailer and I'm just going to go get our animals fed and then we're going to work together to get it 
to fit inside our coverall. It's gonna be a tight fit, but it'll go in there. We managed to fit the round baler in this coverall with everything else that we have. We ended up ripping the tarp a little bit, but that's okay. At least it's in there and it's protected now for the winter. That's it for this video though, and we will see you in the next one.